This is a Watling 1933 Watling Tom Thumb Fortune Teller. There, there weren't that many made, as far as I know, at least this this particular model. You know, they all had different things, different features. Some just told your weight. Some would tell a fortune. Some told a horoscope. Take a look. See, apparently, no springs in capital. Apparently, that was a big thing. I don't know why, but uses counterweights and hydraulics instead. But mechanically, I got it working 99% of the time. That 1% will be when I'm showing you here, I'm sure. But it's got the mirrored front. Sporting the Crocs down here in the basement. Moved a lot of stuff around, some kind of cramped here in the corner. Watling scale, Chicago. Key, yeah, we got a key with a paper clip. i replace the lock. Check this out. No springs, the scale tested with US standard weights. Turn out it right. So desired question in between red lines. See these? Then drop coin. It's just as well, I guess it does say one cent. So you know what kind of coin that is. There's the knob. I'm going to get new glass here. This is supposed to be ideal weights for people of different heights, like this says, if you're a woman, 4'10", 108 pounds is ideal. No idea what the men's side is supposed to say. I'm sure I'm over it. Your correct weight. So, I'm going to say it's 99% original. There's Navi, my, my helper. Right enough. So, took this thing all apart just to get it mechanically working. Figured it out. I gotta bring these jam nuts up to hold these bolts. You screw these, these are counterweights. You screw the bolts in when you're shipping so they're not flopping around. This is a hydraulic uh, cylinder, a little piston with a bleed hole inside. You step on it. And so the counterweights go up. Once your weight is on it. She probably heard air. That's what she's barking at. But anyway, this thing was full of sludge and God, I don't know, it's it's 90 years old. some doing to dig that out of there. Dug it out, cleaned up the inside the best I could, cleaned this up so it's got the brass look to it. Serial number 19330. That comes back as a uh, 1933. That was per uh, the scale experts, uh, Bill and Jan Burning, they sent me information on it. The fortune wheel, the fortune tape, actually, it's just it's a piece of sheet metal. And God, is this so sharp. It had fallen out of line, tore a couple of these holes. So it's still readable, it still works, but I'm going to get a new tape. Yeah, a lot of these parts you can still find, but it's pretty cool. If you turn the knob to select your fortune, it goes around on the tape. This little door up here shuts. It says your answer here. And the only 
only thing that's not original. I'll show you, when I got it, it wouldn't even roll. There's there steel rollers on the bottom that were so rusted. But it actually rolls pretty nice, and there's some levelers on the bottom. The only thing in here that's not original that I know of is this trip wire here. And to figure that out, this is actually a piece of coat hanger I replaced the trip wire with. Pulls, I don't know if you can see up in there. It pulls down on that lever, which trips this, this lever up here. And that pops up, and this is on a spring that slides back, and that's that whole mechanism is just for your window to open up and tell you your fortune. And obviously the poor job of somebody trying to dry brush on some dark brown paint to give it a wood grain look for some reason. Maybe it's got a bunch of scratches, I don't know. It looks like crap, but now that I know this is mechanically working, I'm going to strip it back down just for the cosmetics. This thing is heavy as hell. This is all cast iron covered in porcelain. Same thing like a, like a bathtub along with the base. And then you got a steel base and the mirror up front. It's kind of cool how it works. Then it drops down. Drops down the chute into this little basket. Basket has a counterweight. It took a lot of adjustments to get this thing set up between the slack and the wire and where to move this weight and where to move the rod. The basket there, look at it, catches the pen. Did you hear that little trip? That was the window springing open. And drops the penny down into the basket. Open it up. There's pennies. So, I'm gonna get on and show you how this thing works. All right, it'd be better if I had somebody else to get on this, but the wife would probably be upset if I showed her how it worked and showed the world. Anyway, I get on here. Let's take a look at uh, these fortunes here. What kind of questions can you ask it? How can I preserve my youth? How can I reduce? Remember, this is 1933, 90 years ago. Who can I trust? How about that? Can I trust you guys out in YouTube land here? I'm going to do my best to hold this while I get up on here. Okay, try and get a good angle, so it's a zero, put our penny in, okay, see how the window open, who can I trust, yourself, but not too far, so that's my fortune, unfortunately the scale is correct, unfortunately I got it set up right, but I got to quit hanging out in the basement and working on stuff and actually get out and physically work. So, how is that? Real simple. Get off, the window doesn't shut until you pick your next, uh, choose your next adventure. You turn the knob. Come on. It's hard to sit and do this. spring come loose. Alright. So from the back, yeah, what color becomes me? I don't know what that means. But I'm going to try and aim the camera at the back so you can see this.
Let's see if we can do this. Stretch my hand out way over. Stand on it. See how the counterweights swing up? Kind of cool. If I get off, I haven't put in a penny, but the counterweights come down. Back up. color becomes me. Huh. Flesh color. Classic. So anyway, that is my 1933 Watling Tom Thumb Fortune Scale. I'll get it cosmetically uh, finished up and show you guys a result, but it'll be a little while. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.